Hello, Wendy with an I, and today I'm going to be doing something very new to me. It is a different way to preserve your jigsaw puzzle, and it's not gluing it. Simply RSB reached out to me and asked if I would want to try their product on preserving jigsaw puzzles. And, you know, I thought about it and I said, well, you know, if I had a product like that, I think someone like me that is set in their ways with gluing puzzles um, would be a great person to test it out, do a review tutorial on it, and see how it goes. So I'm really excited to use this product. Now they are not paying me, but they did send me the product, and we're gonna open that together because I haven't opened it yet. So this is the package, and it's sealed, and it says, you've got great taste. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's see what they put inside the package. Okay, small technical difficulties with my camera and opening that package if I'm going to be truthful. All right, so here we go. It is a Puzzle Mate preservation kit for jigsaw puzzles. All right, so Simply RSB is not paying me for this video, but they did send this kit to me for free, and I'm going to try it out for you today. So their links will be in my description below if you're interested in trying it yourself and all opinions or my review of this will be my own. So all right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to angle the camera down to the table so we can open this package and try it out. All right, I have my completed puzzle here. Well, almost, there is a missing piece, but pay no attention to that. <laughs> I will link a video concerning this if you would like to see it, but for purposes of testing this and seeing what um, I think about it, this puzzle is going to work just fine. All right, so let's open our package. So here's everything that was in there. And so this little sheet tells you all about the kit. So what we have in here are four glue sheets. We have four adhesive felt sheets. We have double-sided glue dots, and that would be to hang. We have a plastic smoother. And then there was this little thank you that was inside here as well, and it has a little message on the back, and I'm going to read that. Putting together puzzles is one of my favorite things to do because it helps me find that inner peace, especially in the world we live in now. Hope you enjoy all the calming moments too. Thank you for letting us preserve that peace and serenity. We cannot wait for you to decorate your home with these masterpieces. Oh, that was so sweet. Okay, so going back to this, on this side of the little insert in the kit, um, it says for a placemat, you can do A for the front and B for the back. So A is the glue sheets and B is the adhesive felt sheets. And then for wall decor, plan one, you can do A for the back, which are the glue sheets. And plan two, you can do A for the front which are the glue sheets, and do B for the back, which are the felt sheets. So you could do either or. Um, and then for mounting it, you can use the glue dots. Or also, if you guys use those 3M things, uh, that Velcro and that you stick to the wall um, and that peel off easy, those two would work as well if you weren't going to use a frame. But I have a frame. So I'm going to use this as I would. And then we have this little smoother to smooth out the sheets. But what I'm going to do, um, I'm not gonna use it on the front because looking at my puzzle and these, they're going to overlap, it looks like. I'm gonna have to make them overlap. So I'm just gonna do it on the back and see how well it holds. But that's really cool, you know, until I got this kit, I never thought about using a jigsaw puzzle as a placemat. And that's a really super fun idea, especially for those smaller puzzles that I have. I might have to do that. I actually like that idea a lot. 
it. All right, so, well, let me just open the felt sheets so you can see what they look like. I'm not gonna be using them today on this puzzle, but we wanna see what they look like. Okay, so they're just like, these are peel and stick. So this is clear, and then you just peel this and stick it to your puzzle. So same with this. This is the felt. Oh, it's a nice, sturdy, soft felt. And then it has the peel here. So that's what those look like. So yeah. All right, all right, so let's get to it. All right, so I've cleared the space because in order to put the glue sheets on the back of this jigsaw puzzle, this jigsaw puzzle has to flip over. All right, so now I do know that there's product that out there on the market where you can buy it that helps you uh, flip jigsaw puzzles over, but not all of us have one of those or are going to order one of those and I am one of those people uh, because I normally glue my puzzles anyway and now I do it would be very easy for me as well to use the frames I have to flip this over which I have a, a cheaper poster frame but for this puzzle in particular I ordered some months ago a custom frame with this pretty blue frame on it and it would be super easy for me to use this uh, to flip this thing over, but I want this to be as realistic as possible. So what I'm going to do, because not all of us are going to have frames laying around that fit our puzzles perfectly, is I'm going to, I puzzle this on top of a poster board, and I keep these on hand because I puzzle all the time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another poster board and put it on top and hold it as tight as I can and cross our fingers this works that we get this thing flipped over. Ooh, I feel like you need four hands for this. <laughs> okay, let's just do it. I'm going to Ta-da! It worked! Alright, now time for our glue sheets. actually very simple very very simple
Yikes. Okay, my bad on that one. Dropped it too soon. Okay, it is pretty sticky. I dropped it too soon in the crease, but I was able to get it up to try to straighten it out. But I really, <laughs> really messed up that uh, laying this one down. But the smoother seems to be working. Oh well, I've got a crease going on right here. This is real. This is me showing you how I'm doing this and I'm absolutely not perfect. Now the test. Let me pick this puzzle up and see if it holds it. Ta-da! It is holding it. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. It is holding this. It is holding my puzzle. Let me just do this. All right, so here we are going to give my review on these glue sheets that were sent to me by Simply RSB. And my review is, well, I'm impressed, you guys. Being someone that's been a devout gluer of jigsaw puzzles for well over 20 years and counting, I'm impressed. This is, I did this in minutes. I don't have to wait overnight for it to dry. It's ready to be hung on the wall, um, just like this, or I can pop it in a frame, which I do have, um, that I already showed you, and I will end the video on putting it in the frame so we can see how this finished product looks, even though I'm missing a piece, but that's okay. But yes, two thumbs up to this product. I actually would recommend it. It works, and if I can do it, you can too. I really, really like it, and I can't believe that I'm saying that. I also cannot believe I didn't know there was something out there like this on the market. But having said that, you guys, I think the only hiccup I can see is getting your puzzle flipped over. You do have to have it flipped over to, you know, get the glow sheets to hold your puzzle together. But, you know, there are ways to do that. But I think the bigger the puzzle is, the harder it may be. But I used two poster boards and it worked out. And I almost thought when I was doing it, I was going to need four hands, but <laughs> it worked out just fine. But again, my puzzle wasn't huge. It was only 24 inches by 18 inches. So it was easy to get it flipped over. But along with this product and being impressed with how fast it was, to get this uh, secured and framed. Um, I'm also loving the idea of being able to make placemats with puzzles. And you know, if you wanted to use the felt sheets for extra backing or maybe make a centerpiece, you know, to lay a puzzle on the table, you have this strong, soft felt, you know, to put underneath it. I just love that. And not only do I do puzzles, I'm also a crafter. So this is <laughs> something that I'm actually going to do. This gave me so many ideas and I love it. So I want to say a big thank you to Simply RSB for sending this kit out to me. Rachel was so lovely and kind. So thank you again, guys, for giving me the opportunity to try this out. And I will be using it more in the future. So it gets two thumbs up. All right, so for all of you guys watching, if you want to try this product, their links will be in my description below. I am not affiliated in any way. I do not get paid. I'm not being paid for this video. Although they did send me the kit for free and I did not purchase it, I'm not being paid. So if you click on the links below, I'm not affiliated in any way. I won't get any compensation. It's just a way for you to find the products through their links. So please guys, if you wanna try it, check them out. I'm impressed, so it's been a great, fun experiment for me today and I found something new that I'm going to continue to use in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great day. Be sweet. And even with a missing piece, this is still magical.